Hello everyone and welcome to day 20, sorry for the delay, of the 21 days of Fleximus. And today we have a special treat for you. We have our very first Sheik Ditto. I know some of you guys have commented, where are the Sheiks? Do you guys hate Sheiks even though you sponsor one? No, we love Sheiks. So we are bringing you your first Sheik Ditto in Spiral Cafe Zone, Kyle Crudo, a top three at the Salt Mine pretty much every time he's in. I think every time that he's entered, he's top three at least. So we have a high level, high level chic ditto for you. I am joined here by Hada, the one and only commentator on all chat right now. Hada, how are you feeling about this matchup today? You know, I love me a good chic ditto. I'm originally a Ohio player, so I've seen Dreffen versus Cal, Dreffen versus or Ed slash Essie, and they've changed their tactic a handful of times, and they would go to chic ditto a lot of times, and of course. You have the likes of Free Palestine in Columbus, Ohio. So frequent and enjoyer of the Sheik Ditto. And of course, you know, big, big J-Flex fan and really big Crudo fan as well. I've known Crudo for a little while now. And um, with the recent exodus of Plup over to the West Coast, I believe Oregon specifically, uh, Crudo has since claimed the title of number one Sheik in Florida and potentially number one Sheik on the East Coast. But of course, J-Flex might have something to say about that. Yeah, JFlex, Crudo, definitely in that, like, I would probably say top three, top five conversation for best Sheiks on the East Coast. So I feel like the East Coast has so many, so many Sheiks. So oh, yeah. it's it's even more of a feat that they are top three, top five. So I guess I'll just give it the go ahead. I would imagine, where do you think we're going to start on, on the Sheik ditto? You know, they did have a little conversation previously to us starting, and then, you know, of course they said, you know, we're going to play some basketball, and um, that means, you know, they're going to be chain-grabbing each other. They're going to be dribbling each other off the ground, having a good old time, and I believe they will be starting Battlefield. So I'm going to go ahead and hop right over to Sheik's primary stage counter pick, and I'm just going to go ahead and get that one out of the way, and we should see a pretty excellent neutral focus Sheik get up because, you know, the absolute brutal nature of the chain grab is going to be in full effect. Yeah, I they described it as basketball a little earlier, and I thought that was so, so funny. It really is just bouncing Sheik off of the ground constantly. So I'm sure we're going to see a lot of zero to deaths and touch of deaths for this matchup. And, you know, Battlefield, definitely not the smallest bottom platform, so we got a little wiggle room to go. But I've given them the okay. It seems like they're going to start. JFlex said okay. And then Kyle said, are we ready? Press start, please. There we go. All right. We are... got a uh, So Talented versus Doc Lob Enjoyer. <laughs> yeah. Who is who? You'll never know. But we do. And it is J Flex is So Talented, Doc Lob as Kyle Crudo. And we're starting here on Battlefield. And we're just looking for those knockdowns to get into those tech grabs. And uh, we are already in the grab Ooh. situation. J Flex, keeping that... Keeping that turnaround grab alive. Reading these slight DIs by Kyle Crudo perfectly. And going to get a cool 100 damage and probably a kill. Yes, sir, on Kyle yeah, this so quick. Crudo kind of going for a chump check there and uh, honestly risked his life for it. Um, a lot of times you'll get to that edge platform and the Sheik will immediately go for runoff, uh, runoff fair to, sec to secure that damage and maybe secure the edge guard. But Kyle went for DI behind in that last throw that would have put him off stage. So... Uh, J Flex, knowing to wait and react to that situation, just took those extra chain grab throws and then took the whole stock for it. So, J um, Crudo going for the chump check and J Flex responding that I ain't no chump, brother. He is no chump indeed, but he lost his first stock. He's he's already up at one hundred percent, and you know I think in a lot of matchups you'd say this is an enormous lead, but really one grab can settle this de percent deficit right away. But we see. Kyle Crudo kind of playing a little defensively, seeing that the lead or the evenness of the game might be getting away from him. But 89, 100% on JFlex. He's really evened this up by no grabs at all. So props to Crudo in his great, great neutral game. But JFlex going to try to find something at the ledge, just pushing Crudo out of center stage. But Nair is going to find the space that Crudo wants. Crudo might be taking the stock. All right, finds the grab here. We'll get the counter hit. And uh, yeah, that Nair covers so many tech options, covers that tech away and covers that tech in. So Nair, great um, option selection there from JFlex, especially that high percent is going to kill regardless. But Crudo, not to be outdone, will send us to a two-stock piece situation. Yeah, and like I was mentioning a little earlier, we thought that 100% might be significant, but we, we were noting that it just really isn't. And honestly, it, 
it has come and passed already. That 100% is nothing. We are basically dead even, which is that the power of that grab right now. JFlex is going to find another one. We'll see what he does with the chump check here at the ledge, but no DI behind. Kyle saying, I don't want to die again, but JFlex keeping him in the corner. Kyle so good at boxing out again. It's almost like a reverse of uh, last stock, and Kyle's going to get the first lead on this set. Yeah, gonna go ahead and patrol straight through that right side platform. Working that way back out of the corner, but a great fishing uh, down tilt to set us up for a little ledge trap. Gonna go ahead and needle cancel back down to the corner, but a very wise air dodge to significantly cut out on that landing lag. And Crudo on the punish gets the early scoop, but a slide off fair out of hit stun will send us to a last stock situation. Next grab could potentially take us off. Yeah, and we see that phantom on the up air. That are the most brilliant SDI from, from Kyle Crudo, but... We're going to see some type of slowdown, I would imagine, but no, instead they choose to box in center stage. So deadly in this ditto in particular, where really one touch can beat death for you. Kyle Crudo going to get JFlex off the off the ledge. Fair going to take the first stock. Yeah, Crudo will take game number one. So we did see a very interesting development in what came out of the chain grab flowchart. And, uh, and of course, that first stock situation where... Crudo went for a very risky DI behind, trying to predict that JFlex would go for a kind of muscle memory early runoff fair to try to secure that stock early and potentially get the reversal, but JFlex didn't quite do the work that he needed with that stock advantage that Crudo gave him on game number one. So out here on FD, gonna go ahead and take those platforms completely out of the equation and focus all out on the spacing war into these early grabs. Yeah, and the early grab has already come just like Christmas Day. JFlex going to get the first grab, but Crudo going to wiggle his way out of this. And I got to say, Crudo has been doing a little bit better outside of the grab, ga grab game, and it is constantly evening up these percentages. But JFlex going to find a nice little sequence to hopefully get Crudo dead. But Crudo, honestly, playing so well defensively, is going to get a grab of his own, but drops right away. Maybe that's why he sticks to kicks. But Fair going to take the first stock. Only 80% on JFlex, but... You know, FD is still one of those one of those just high risk, high reward stages. All right, finds himself back in the corner, but a cross up backer returning back to stage from Grito will get that first hit out of hit stun, but a knockdown potentially tech chase. J Flex managed to hold his ground. A great spacing here from J Flex, but eventually will get sniped out by that reaching down tilt. Waits out the spot dodge so wise, knowing he's just a little bit late for that conversion. But can't make it true. So go ahead and punish that immediate defensive option. But quick early juggle escape from JFlex. Launch instant ASDI down tech from Crudo, but still getting tech chase into a lengthy combo. Finds a way of land turnaround grab into the tipper up smash. What an incredible extended tech chase there from JFlex. Yeah, JFlex really staying on Crudo as much as possible. And kind of like what you mentioned earlier, one thing that I, I just now noted because of your commentary is that we have not seen many spot dodges, and I feel like Sheik is so used to spot dodging, which really just goes to show how aggressive these two players are playing in the ditto. And speaking of aggressive, JFlex finding another chain grab. And boy, I mean, I have a feeling we all know how this is going to end, and you'd all be wrong, not death. Kyle Crudo going to wiggle out yet again down a stock but jflex trying to make it two i think this will be the end for kyle great oms attack but it's going to be covered by the down smash down two stocks now oh yeah finding ourselves back to a neutral neutral state here kyle does get a pretty extended tech chase here opportunity will get the f till out of the corner on and off ledge Ooh, instant turnaround needle cancel fair very um uh unorthodox edge guard option but you love to see it coming out here from crudo yeah crudo just trying to hold on with his life but he's gonna get grabbed again down smash maybe jflex just didn't see some type of re-grab possibility there but he's gonna find the grab through a quick neutral exchange again we're at 100 percent, i believe one more and up smash not gonna find the tipper so we have another chance at life crudo gonna try to make the most of it getting a great conversion double up air gonna return back to neutral but a knockdown from jflex crouch cancel not gonna find the grab though beautiful sdi from jflex all right we have exchanging of fares and that will be game two in the favor of our boy yeah jflex with a pretty dominant performance here on fd 
Um, like I was saying earlier, he was getting not just those early chain grabs to set up for the percentage, but if he knew he couldn't get those true extensions off the down throw, he was waiting out those defensive options. He was going for those extended tech chases and then elected to get some pretty incredible, like, zero to deaths in those uh, two and three stock situations. So back to Yoshi's story. Crudo wants those platforms back. Let's see what he can do with them. Yeah, and these low-hanging platforms are going to be great for tilt setups, oh, but, oh my god, crazy. a call-out on the double jump. Going to be J-Flex takes a quick first stock from Crudo. Crudo, going to have to try to box back for this, and we're going to find a chain grab. And people aren't going to notice how incredible that first stock was. Just the incredible micro-spacing of J-Flex to get those max length on the F-Tilt, and then immediate double jump read with the fair for that first stock, but... Crudo, not to be outdone, great little needle pivots and needle cancels to set himself up for a high-flying fair to seal up that uh, stock disadvantage. Three stocks apiece, but JFlex already on a pretty enormous punish. Yeah, already at 60%. And, you know, we started 0-0 zero, zero on third stock, which just shows how good Crudo played that deficit there. But JFlex, keeping Crudo in the corner has really been the, the theme for this set. And Crudo normally boxing out, but this time kind of kind of flubbing a little bit and then getting punished. That reverse nair going to be so good. Going to shoot Crudo across the blast zone. Crudo going to have to try to find something else because it seems like JFlex is kind of heating up. Yeah, JFlex working on uh, playing very confidently. Um, but instant shield drop fair to set us up for a counter hit. Top platform tech chase from Crudo. Crudo with the runoff fair. Needle for the snipe. Needle for the turnaround. And instant knockdown goes for the tech chase, finds one more grab, and a fair off the down throw. Yes, sir. What a great extension from Crudo. Yeah, Crudo really trying to strike back at these stocks as quick as he can, but JFlex just feeling so oppressive on Yoshi's. You know, I know nor people normally say Battlefield is the is the place for JFlex, but he's starting to make a case for Yoshi's too. Crudo gonna find a grab though, gonna see if he can get the first lead of this game. But JFlex, oh, beautiful, beautiful, like, maxed space forward tilt into fair. Not going to kill, but we are bopping him around like a volleyball right now. Platform movement, not going to find anything, although tricky. The fair going to be a little too overzealous, but quick reversal on JFlex's side is going to give Crudo to his last stock. Beautiful power shield, invisible power shield too, but Crudo going to try to find a a way to even this set up, but he gets into a grab. JFlex, pretty rare that he ever drops one of these, but, you know, commentator's curse. Crudo gonna try to, I would imagine, yeah, turn around Needle. A little close there, Crudo, but we are on a even stock game. Right, wave down, or, sorry, wave land into grab here. On and off ledge, so such an advantageous spot for Crudo. Crudo with the early juggler. Five second. Ooh, <gasps> oh, it kills! Oh, Zero to death for Crudo. Huge. <laughs> and, you know, we were uh, we were chit-chatting before the set, and Crudo brought up a couple times that he he had a couple sets where he had really nice zero to death. And that's, I mean, that's another one. That was beautiful. I mean, I don't even remember the sequence, but I feel like he was on two different platforms, ending with an up, <laughs> an up smash. One ledge dash grab into dribble him six or seven times. Get that continuation dash tack into a jump read. Gets that pop up on that right side platform. No jump, no way to escape. Gets the tipper up smash. Zero to death. Put it on Twitter, baby. Yeah. Speaking of putting it on a social media, this will be on YouTube, baby. Please subscribe. Yeah, drop. Hit that subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. We're only a handful of subscribers away from getting our own custom URL, so we'll be much easier to find in the future. So if you guys like the content we put out, and we hope you do, Please subscribe so you can see more. Yeah, but speaking of more, we have more chic dittos. Crudo only taking 50%. Got to take JFlex's first stock. And normally we see JFlex start with the with the lead. So hopefully uh, hopefully this doesn't just end up being a blowout. But JFlex going to find the chain grab. I think he needs a couple more before the up smash. But forward air going to do just as good. We are pretty much dead even, but this tricky platform movement from JFlex has honestly kind of tripped up Crudo a couple times. Crudo going to find a grab, though, and we know that he is so good on these grabs that end on platforms. Platform movement of himself, but going to be boxing for this space up air. Oh, no scoops, but of early fair. Going to kind of trip up his DI. 
Beautiful conversions from JFlex. Yep. Oh, great Ops Tech there. But in the instant fastball, not a lot of players will hit that fastball after the Ops Tech. That's that second stage that makes those Ops um, early Ops Techs so good for these Sheik mains. So Frito on that upper echelon, echelon of Sheik defensive play. Yeah, Crudo just absolutely never wanting to die. And, you know, speaking of dying, JFlex kind of needs to get a little bit of extra credit if he wants to have a comfortable lead, but he's at 117% already. Crudo just boxing with these back airs. Waveland back air, you know, kind of threatening these, like, turnaround, turnaround fares and stuff. But we are going to get ourselves out of the corner, and JFlex going to punish the... The kind of repetitive rinse and repeat motion from Crudo for that. But 153, going to be a respectable time to take the stock. But we're down 100%. By Strahd Hot Meadows for a little bit of chip damage. But, oh, JFlex dropping a crucial edge guard here. Oh, gets the dash grab off the teeter cancel. Such a great extension from Crudo. Does get the tipper back here to go for the slide off punish. But 61% off that one little mistake Ooh. from JFlex could be the open door that Crudo is looking for to get this 3-1 secured victory. Yeah, if he wants that victory on this stage, he's definitely going to have to stop this bleeding. But Jesus, 60% already on that one conversion on Crudo. 70%, we're still in crouch cancel percent for Crudo, and he made quick use of that. The chain coming out, but quickly back to the uh you know what do you, what do chains go in sheets so we have a Ooh. dead j flex from that that falling yeah. back air that 60 percent off that last hog might just be the way that crudo gets this victory j flex really needs to tighten up that defensive game and secure this game set us to a game five yeah he's got to clean these edge guards up i i think i think these edge guards i mean the defensive play from crudo just like that i mean it's it's so so good and we have a turn we have a reversal situation possibly but great tech from jflex yeah forward air just gonna try to get in the worst possible situation he can as quickly as he can for crudo just gonna start bopping him around gonna be a rinse and repeat <gasps> oh what a read crazy that you know crudo hasn't gone for that straight down angle on the poof to go for sweet spots and jflex maybe knew that that was his only chance to get back in uh, in a victorious situation just patience as he is we'll send us to a game five yeah and i feel like you know we only have one more day past this we're on day 20 but i feel like so many of these sets at the flexmas have been coming down to game five and this is no exception we are chic ditto game five on none other than fountain of dreams Fiverr. We have had so many throughout these 21 days. So hope you guys have loved these like, fully extended sets. We definitely want to get you guys as much content as we can. And already JFlex putting on a storm here. No jump here for Crudo. Crudo retains his jump, but we'll take a ton of pressure for it. We'll get the counter grab here on top platform. And the jump read. And he's going to head and elect to take that stock down. 69% stacked up for Crudo. And we'll get instant punish, but... The defensive play just narrowly escaping that overextended uh, forward air from JFlex. Yeah, JFlex, I was going to say that it looks like he was staying in his shield a little too much on that first stock, but he is really kicking it into gear on the second stock. We're going to get a grab, but these varying platform heights coming into play, but Crudo, an expert of the game, not letting that drop his punish at all. JFlex is going to find his way to center, but it's gonna, quickly going to be boxed away by Crudo. Crudo is... Not taking any damage on this third stock, but he is definitely making JFlex feel the pain. And I think that's a zero to death, just like an incredibly, incredibly elongated one for Crudo. Yeah, Crudo with a huge advantage here. JFlex, again, needs to start dribbling, needs to start getting those extended grabs. He's doing a good job boxing out with these um, with these wave dash tilts, getting a little bit of damage started, but Crudo is the one securing these grabs. All right, grab will go the way of JFlex here. Trying to pressure him on this awkward height of the side platform, but a scoop with the down zone. Oh, no jump! Waveland gets the grab. Dribble one. Dribble two. Going for oh. the double dribble. Will get that early fair. Mm. Gonna find his way back to ledge. I'm surprised that he went with the fair option instead of the tried and true uh, up smash, but maybe maybe JFlex knew something that I didn't. 60% is not too, too much extra credit for JFlex to make up, but 
Crudo has been so good at, you know, with these reversals and punishing mistakes of J-Flex that I, I worry that uh, Crudo is just going to bleed this lead into the win. <gasps> oh no, a mistake. Miscue, just a late tech input and will result in an air dodge offstage. This could be the mistake. That sends Crudo home with a little bit of cash in his pocket and a whole lot of pride going into being one of the last few guests on the 21 days. Yeah, but JFlex saying not done just yet. Gonna find a grab. We're close to the 100 mark, but that platform is gonna absolutely fuck up the, the entire sequence. And Doc, Ooh, Lob, and Joyer, yeah. Trading Nairs. All right, 77%. This is definitely doable. If we get a grab, 70% has been about the average. JFlex finding with Ooh, these up tilts. Great. Okay. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Ooh. I'm a JFlex fan. Oh. oh. And the taunt to JFlex with an incredible comeback here on day 20. I turned my, I ripped out the cord for my mic or in my headphones, so I couldn't even hear. I everyone was screaming, and then suddenly it went silent. But holy shit, what a beautiful punish from J Flex! And that you know, we, I think you and I kind of, I think we, I think we, you know, uh, counted out our boy there for a second, and he showed us that we should, we should never be counting out J Flex because that was yeah. a beautiful conversion, and then getting the read on the not only where he's going to go on the recovery, but also adjusting to the platform height on the fly. Beautiful play from JFlex. And that is day 20 going to uh, going to JFlex. I don't remember what the the record is, Hada, do you? Yeah, I'd have to go back and check it out. But those, those mix-ups on those adjusting side platforms, when the one on the left got Crudo out of that first chain grab, I thought it was done and dusted. I thought the set was over, and JFlex is going to have to hold that. But then he gets that one grab, adjusts to the adjusting platform right on the right side with those double up smashes, then gets that continued juggle into the tipper up smash to kill off the top. You know, nothing but incredible props to Crudo. Crudo's an amazing top-level talent. And, of course, JFlex will have to take that home. But if you enjoyed the 21 days, we have a special treat for day 21, so please stay tuned. It's going to be a good time, so you guys are really going to love that one. So if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Please tell us who your favorite matchup of the 21 days was. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and tell us who your favorite opponent was, go ahead and drop that in the comments section below. And if you guys have any more ideas or suggestions for content that we can do on the All Chat channel, please drop that in the comments. Or go ahead and tweet at us. Go ahead and tweet at us yeah. at All Chat Esports, at All Chat Esports on Twitter. And we can go ahead and try to make some of that happen. Perfect. Well, I've had such a pleasure commentating with you tonight, and we can go home a little bit bigger fans of JFlex. It has been day 20. Watch out for tomorrow for your big treat. Have a good night, everyone.